Changes coming to the Coast Guard station on the Saginaw River. The Essexville office will soon be classified as a scheduled mission station. James Felton is here with what that means for you and why. James? A spokesperson for the Coast Guard tells us recruitment numbers are down and that has led to staff shortages. As a result, the Coast Guard is reallocating resources for changes that will take effect sometime in May when this year's boating season begins. It's a big deal, right? For, uh, for the Bay Area. The U.S. Coast Guard is making changes to its station on the Saginaw River in Essexville. Bay City Fire Chief Kurt Karate tells us he was notified by the Coast Guard about six months ago. Any search and rescue capabilities that uh, we require in our area uh, are going to come out of Tawas, the Tawas station. So, and uh, if Tawas wasn't available, our resources would be coming from Port Huron. In May, at the beginning of this year's boating season, the Coast Guard station in Essexville will become a scheduled mission station. A Coast Guard spokesperson tells TV5 that Coast Guard members will work there for 40 hours a week. Those 40-hour work weeks will be adjusted based on any events that are happening, like the 4th of July or tall ships. The spokesperson went on to say that the Coast Guard will still respond to emergencies, but help may originate from other areas like Tawas, Traverse City, or Detroit depending on the type of call. This is a result of staff shortages at the Coast Guard. For his part, Karate says he can empathize with the Coast Guard. We see that on the on the fire side. We see that in law enforcement, uh, EMT paramedics. So, you know, when we look at the big picture, I also understand uh, what they're going through. Meanwhile, Bangor Township Fire Chief Michael Galoner tells us the Coast Guard told him that because of local resources in the Bay Area, the Coast Guard felt comfortable moving its resources further away. What that didn't account for was the equipment that we currently have. You know, we're responsible for a fairly large portion of the Saginaw Bay plus the Caucon and Saginaw Rivers. To cover that, we have a 15-foot inflatable boat. Galoner is urging the public to understand. We just ask for the residents to be patient with us. We're going to get to you as soon as we can. But as Galoner and Karate point out, time may not always be on their side. Especially if we're dealing with somebody that's went overboard or struggling in the water, time is of the essence. So uh, there's no doubt it's going to have effect on operations for us. A spokesperson for the Coast Guard told me there will be some impact to response times, but they respond in a timely manner. He went on to say they would not be making this change if they thought it would impact their ability to keep the public safe. And coming up at 6, we'll tell you how Bay County is planning to adjust to these changes. All right, James, thank you. Congressman Dan Kildee expressing concern about the Coast Guard changes. He tells TV5 his office is working with the Coast Guard and the community, adding, I am concerned that relocating the Coast Guard search and rescue team in Essexville could delay emergency responses on the Saginaw River and put additional pressure on local emergency departments, including the sheriffs, fire departments, and EMS to respond to emergencies that the Coast Guard is better equipped to handle. My congressional office is continuing to engage with the Coast Guard on its plans, unquote.